Welcome to Question with Answer, the ultimate place for career-focused tech content. In today's video, we're covering the top 10 Google Cloud Platform interview questions and answers, frequently asked in interviews at leading MNCs. Let's dive right in. Question 1. What is Google Cloud Platform and why is it used? Answer. Google Cloud Platform or GCP is a suite of cloud computing services offered by Google that runs on the same infrastructure used internally by Google for its end user products like Google Search, Gmail, and YouTube. GCP provides a range of services including computing, storage, databases, machine learning, networking, and DevOps tools. It allows businesses to scale quickly without the overhead of managing physical servers. GCP is popular for its high-speed network, live migration of virtual machines, and deep integration with open-source technologies and Kubernetes. Enterprises use GCP for its robust security, cost-effective scalability, AI, ML capabilities via Vertex AI, and managed services like BigQuery for analytics. GCP's pay-as-you-go pricing and granular control make it ideal for startups and large-scale enterprises alike. It also supports hybrid and multi-cloud strategies using tools like Anthos. Overall, GCP helps organizations innovate faster, reduce operational complexity, and focus on business goals. Question 2. What is the difference between App Engine and Compute Engine? Answer. Google App Engine and Compute Engine are two core compute services in GCP but serve different use cases. App Engine is a fully managed platform as a service or PaaS offering. Developers can simply write code and deploy it without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. It automatically handles scaling, load balancing, patching, and monitoring. App Engine supports multiple languages including Python, Java, Node.js, and more, making it ideal for web applications, APIs, and microservices. Compute Engine, on the other hand, is an infrastructure as a service or IaaS product. It provides virtual machines or VMs that can run custom operating systems and software stacks. Users have full control over CPU, memory, disk, and network settings, allowing them to host applications with more complex requirements. In short, use App Engine for ease of development and scaling with minimal ops, and use Compute Engine when you need low-level control over your infrastructure. Question 3. What is Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE and its advantages? Answer. Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE is a managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes. GKE automates key tasks such as provisioning clusters, upgrading, scaling, and monitoring, allowing developers to focus on building apps instead of managing infrastructure. The biggest advantage of GKE is its tight integration with Google's infrastructure, providing high availability, auto-scaling, auto-repair, and multi-zone or regional deployments. It also offers features like workload identity, built-in logging and monitoring through cloud operations, and support for GPU and TPU workloads. GKE's autopilot mode further simplifies cluster management by optimizing infrastructure based on application requirements. Enterprises use GKE to build scalable microservices architectures, CI, CD pipelines, and hybrid cloud deployments. It's particularly suited for DevOps and SRE teams that want to follow modern infrastructure practices while leveraging the power of Google Cloud. Overall, GKE combines the power of Kubernetes with the simplicity and performance of GCP. Question 4. What is BigQuery and when would you use it? Answer. BigQuery is Google Cloud serverless, highly scalable, and cost-effective multi-cloud data warehouse designed for business agility. It allows you to run super-fast SQL queries on large datasets using the processing power of Google's infrastructure. BigQuery is best used when handling massive datasets for analytics, reporting, or real-time business intelligence. It's ideal for industries like retail, 
finance, and health where insights from large volumes of data can drive strategic decisions. BigQuery uses a distributed architecture to process queries quickly, and you only pay for the data you query, which optimizes cost. It integrates seamlessly with tools like Looker, Data Studio, and machine learning tools like Vertex AI. You can also use federated queries to analyze data across cloud storage, cloud SQL, or even external data sources like Google Sheets. Its ability to scale automatically and perform near real-time analytics without managing infrastructure makes it a top choice for modern data-driven companies. Question 5. What is the role of Cloud Pub, Sub in GCP? Answer. Cloud Pub Sub is a messaging service in Google Cloud used to build event-driven systems and real-time analytics pipelines. It supports asynchronous messaging between independent systems, enabling reliable communication across services. PubSub uses a publisher-subscriber model. Publishers send messages to a topic, and subscribers receive those messages, either through push or pull delivery mechanisms. This decoupling allows systems to scale independently and supports more resilient architectures. PubSub is widely used for log streaming, triggering downstream services, syncing databases, and real-time data pipelines. It integrates well with Dataflow for streaming analytics, BigQuery for storage, and cloud functions for serverless processing. One of the key features of Pub, Sub is its scalability and guaranteed at least once message delivery. It's designed for low latency and high throughput messaging, making it ideal for large distributed systems. With global availability and built-in monitoring, Pub, Sub is a vital component for modern cloud-native applications. Question 6. What is Google Cloud Storage and what are its storage classes? Answer. Google Cloud Storage is a fully managed, unified object storage service that enables users to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time. It's designed for durability, availability, and scalability. Cloud storage is often used for data backups, media content, data lakes, and archival purposes. There are four main storage classes in GCP, each optimized for different use cases. 1. Standard Standard is best for frequently accessed, performance-sensitive data such as websites, mobile apps, and analytics. 2. Nearline Nearline is designed for data accessed less than once a month, like backups or long-tail content. 3. Cold Line Cold Line is ideal for data accessed less than once a quarter, such as disaster recovery. 4. Archive Archive is lowest cost option for data rarely accessed, perfect for long-term archival. Each class offers the same durability, 99.99%, and security, but varies in access latency and cost. You can transition between classes using lifecycle rules, optimizing costs automatically. With multi-regional and regional storage options, Google Cloud Storage ensures fast access wherever your users are. Question 7. What is the difference between Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner? Answer. Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner are both managed relational database services in GCP, but they cater to different needs in terms of scalability, availability, and consistency. Cloud SQL supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server databases. It is ideal for traditional web applications and workloads that require compatibility with existing RDBMS systems. It offers high availability, automated backups, replication, and automatic storage scaling, but it's limited to regional availability and vertical scaling. Cloud Spanner, on the other hand, is a globally distributed, strongly consistent database service designed for high-scale, mission-critical applications. It combines the benefits of traditional RDBMS, like SQL and ACID transactions, with NoSQL-like horizontal scalability. Spanner can handle millions of requests per second with strong consistency across regions. In summary, use Cloud SQL when you need a familiar SQL interface for moderate workloads. Use Cloud Spanner when you need global distribution, high throughput, and consistency across regions. Question 8. 
What is Identity and Access Management or IAM in GCP? Answer. Identity and Access Management or IAM in Google Cloud Platform allows administrators to control who can do what on which resource. IAM provides fine-grained access control by assigning roles to users, groups, or service accounts at different levels, organization, project, or resource. IAM follows the principle of least privilege, meaning users should have only the permissions necessary to perform their tasks. Permissions are grouped into roles, these include basic roles, owner, editor, viewer, predefined roles, like roles, storage.object viewer, and custom roles tailored to specific needs. IAM also supports features like policy inheritance, audit logging, and condition-based access. This enables organizations to enforce security policies and comply with regulatory requirements efficiently. For example, a developer can be given access to deploy code on App Engine, while a data analyst can have read-only access to BigQuery datasets. With IAM, enterprises can manage thousands of users and services while ensuring their cloud environment remains secure and compliant. Question 9. What is VPC in GCP and how does it work? Answer. A virtual private cloud or VPC in GCP provides a private, isolated virtual network environment in which users can deploy GCP resources such as Compute Engine instances, Kubernetes clusters, and Cloud SQL databases. Each VPC includes subnets, IP ranges, routes, and firewall rules. VPCs are global resources, while subnets are regional. This allows for flexible deployment of resources across multiple regions while maintaining internal connectivity. VPC supports both auto mode or pre-configured subnets and custom mode or user-defined IP ranges and regions. It offers advanced networking features such as 1. Peering Peering connect VPCs across projects or organizations. 2. Shared VPC Shared VPC allows multiple projects to share a common VPC. 3. Private Google Access Private Google Access enables resources without public IPs to access Google services securely. Security is enforced using firewall rules and IAM, while connectivity can be extended to on-prem via VPNs or Cloud Interconnect. VPC provides a secure and scalable foundation for cloud applications, supporting both cloud-native and hybrid architectures. Question 10. How does GCP ensure security and compliance? Answer. Google Cloud Platform ensures security through a multi-layered approach that encompasses physical infrastructure, network, data encryption, identity management, and threat detection. Data in GCP is encrypted by default at rest and in transit using AES-256 encryption. Google manages encryption keys, but customers can opt for customer-managed or customer-supplied keys for added control. Security is further reinforced using IAM, VPC service controls, Cloud Armor for DDoS protection, Cloud Identity Aware Proxy or IAP, and Security Command Center, which provides visibility into threats and misconfigurations. GCP undergoes independent third-party audits regularly and complies with global standards including ISO 27001, SOC 1, 2, 3, HIPAA, GDPR, and FedRAMP. It also supports confidential computing and zero-trust architecture via BeyondCorp. For enterprises, Google offers tools like Chronicle for Threat Intelligence, Cloud DLP for data loss prevention, and Access Transparency for audit logs of Google admin actions. This end-to-end -end security and compliance strategy helps organizations meet regulatory needs while staying secure in the cloud. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for more content. So you don't miss any upcoming video. And, if you have any questions or topics, you'd like us to cover in future videos. Please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.